it was very small boat. People were just gathering and there was not possible you just lie down or you just try to have you know at least sleep or something. I choose to come to Australia because I have heard that Australia is a, a, a good country, a safe country, and so that I can uh, seek asylum here. policy as uh, they put the name of the you know, Nauru, which you say that Pacific Solution, and uh, we've been transferred as a victim of uh, you the know, uh, Pacific Solution over there. We will decide who comes to this country and the circumstances in which they come. It was really a horrible situation for people. Every day I could see that people are getting depressed, especially myself. I do never forget the last moments when I left my mother and she wished me a good luck. She was telling me that I'm a big man, a man that could take the coming risk. But imagine I was only 15. Imagine floating on a boat, not knowing where it will end up, just hoping that it won't sink before you hit some land. I didn't know we would be taken to Christmas Island. I thought my new life would just start the next day. We are now the only developed country in the world which practices indiscriminate, indeterminate, incommunicado detention of asylum seekers. Alone of all of the countries in the world, including Canada, the United States and the nations of Europe and Scandinavia, we have indiscriminately detained all of them. The elderly, the children, the sick and the pregnant. Imagine as a 15 year old kid being forced to know things which are beyond your tolerance. Imagine being told by a country that you are not welcome when all that faces you is death and destruction. All these people ask for is peace and protection. Why am I forced to experience the death in my teen age? Is my life that cursed? If the situations that I have been through will continue, I will not wish to have a Hazara child in the future. I really had enough.